Celebrity beauty brand JLo Beauty is being taken out of Sephora after collecting dust on the Sephora shelves, according to Sephora's subreddit. So, Jennifer Lopez has been in the news a lot lately, but not for the best reasons. Her self-funded movie and documentary received poor reviews. Her overpriced tour was ultimately canceled, and she's been surrounded by endless divorce rumors. This year has been particularly tough for JLo, and it's starting to impact her beauty brand, JLo Beauty. There are indications that JLo Beauty might be nearing its end. While it seems like celebrity brands brands have recently dominated the cosmetic industry, they are really nothing new. These celebrity-owned brands have been around since the early 90s and really gained momentum in the early 2000s. A paid presentation for Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. This is your chance to discover the natural secret that's helped Cindy literally turn back the clock on visible aging. The 2000s were all about signature scents, with iconic fragrances like Britney Spears' Fantasy and the numerous perfumes from Paris Hilton. Fast forward to today, and the beauty scene has shifted to focus on makeup. Over the past five years, we've witnessed an explosion of celebrities launching their own beauty brands or representing existing ones at an unprecedented rate. According to Pop Sugar, in 2020 alone, over 10 new celebrity brands emerged followed by 15 in 2021 and 18 in 2022. Everyone saw the success of Fenty and Rare Beauty, and even Kylie Cosmetics made waves, sparking a flurry of new launches. In 2021, Jennifer Lopez joined the trend by introducing her own beauty line, JLo Beauty, on January 1st. The collection featured seven products, including a serum named That JLo Glow, a mask called Limitless Glow, an SPF, a face cream, a cleanser, an eye cream, and a complexion booster. This line was designed to help fans achieve the radiant, bronzy skin that JLo was famous for in the early 2000s. Back then, everyone was curious about her youthful appearance and glowing skin, leading to countless articles about her beauty secrets. Now, two decades later, JLo is capitalizing on her timeless glow. On the JLo Beauty website, she reflects on this 20-year journey and her commitment to maintaining that iconic radiance. For years, the number one question I've been asked is about my skin, and so I almost felt an obligation to share what I've learned. It's taken 20 years to realize this dream because I knew that when we launched, it had to be amazing because it has my name on it. I've been involved in all aspects of development because JLo Beauty has to authentically mirror my values and reflect who I am, what I believe in, and how I live my life. The tagline of her brand, Beauty Has No Expiration Date, reflects JLo's unique approach to skincare, aiming to break away from the conventional focus on reversing the signs of aging. She believes that agelessness is not just a mindset, but a feeling of youthfulness at any age. Her goal was to create luxurious yet accessible skincare products that people could afford to use daily and that would accompany them throughout their lives. However, JLo's idea of affordability seems to differ from that of the average consumer. When her products hit the market on Sephora, Amazon, and her own website, and later Macy's, many were taken aback by the high prices. These steep prices led some to wonder if the quality of the ingredients justified the cost. According to various dermatologists and skincare experts on YouTube, her products do contain some high-quality ingredients, which might explain the premium pricing. Galactomyces ferment filtrate, which is, you can think of that as like a pre Prebiotic. It's basically a dead bacteria that may be able to support the skin. We However, the general consensus was that the amount of product and the ingredients didn't justify the high prices. One unique selling point of JLo's brand was the inclusion of olive oil, inspired by her mother's beauty tricks. In an interview with Vogue, JLo shared how her mom always used olive oil for various beauty remedies, which is why she incorporated it into her line. This led to controversy, as some people argued that olive oil could clog pores and worsen acne-prone skin. JLo introduced her special blend, the JLo Olive Complex. She explained this complex to Vogue, writing, My mom used to say that olive oil was the cure-all for everything, Lopez reveals, explaining the concept behind the JLo Beauty Olive Oil Complex, a blend of nourishing and soothing squalane, fermented olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and olive leaf extract at the heart of her new line. Despite this, the Olive Complex faced significant criticism from skincare experts. Popular YouTube skincare expert Cassandra Bankson criticized it, suggesting that the complex was a marketing gimmick designed to sell products products that cost very little to produce. Olive oil, it's primarily oleic acid, and that isn't always the best for skin. There are some medical studies that have actually shown that oleic acid, when applied to the skin, causes skin barrier disruption. She specifically pointed out that JLo's cleanser, featuring the olive complex, was likely inexpensive to make, despite its premium branding. Again, this is something that a team of marketers has created, given a new name, and trying to sell us on when it probably costs pennies to produce, which has the extra virgin. But JLo doesn't just credit her youthful glow 
to the Olive Complex. In an interview with Vogue, she said she owes her ageless look to good sleep, sunscreen, serums, supplements, and a healthy lifestyle. That's all well and good, but some people think she's not being completely honest. She later mentioned in another interview that she's never had Botox or any other injectables, insisting that her radiant, youthful skin comes solely from olive oil and sunscreen. JLo also posted a video using her JLo beauty mask, and fans noticed her face barely moved. Some comments accused her of having work done. JLo responded, denying the rumors, saying, LOL, that's just my face. For the 500 millionth time, I've never done Botox, injectables, or surgery. Just saying. Still, many people find it hard to believe she's telling the truth. They think it's misleading for her to claim she's never had any work done and that her timeless skin is just from olive oil, a good cleanser, and SPF. Many comments were like, if olive oil is so great for her skin, why don't we all just buy olive oil and a good SPF instead of spending hundreds on JLo Beauty? Obviously, JLo hasn't been using her own brand all her life. She can't say her famous JLo Glow from the early 2000s is thanks to JLo Beauty. Over the years, JLo and her makeup artists have talked about all sorts of skincare products she uses, many of which include retinol. Still, people are confused why anyone would spend so much on JLo Beauty when we've been told how to get her glow with cheaper products. JLo's makeup artist, Scott Barnes, even shared that his favorite product for making skin look glowy is an $11 sunscreen from the drugstore. He sat down with Tati over five years ago and hesitated to reveal it, but finally said it was Neutrogena sunscreen. Number one favorite product. <laughs> Uh, drugstore and high-end. My favorite drugstore product is Neutrogena. I use like this Neutrogena um, spray. Okay, tell me more. Spray makeup? No, it's like a, um, I'll show you in a second. He's like hesitating. He's like, I don't want to tell you, but really, All right, maybe. Here it there, here it comes. It was in the, <sighs> it was in the kit. Okay, it's ooh, a, what's um, this? Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen of 30. Okay, why do you like this? Because I'll show you. And it seems he hesitated because he knew JLo was launching her own sunscreen, which would be way more expensive. After the video, tons of articles came out saying this $11 sunscreen was JLo's secret to glowing skin, which probably annoyed JLo, especially since her brand released their own SPF moisturizer for $55. Because these products were so pricey, shoppers at stores like Sephora started noticing her products were just collecting dust. Someone even posted a photo on the Sephora subreddit showing a layer of dust on her products, saying, JLo Beauty literally collecting dust. Someone commented that the celebrity name actually made them not want to try it, and the marketing pictures looked ridiculous. That's the thing, sometimes having your name all over your brand isn't the best idea. Whenever JLo gets into drama or there's a negative headline about her, it directly affects her brand. People have also called her out for retouching photos and blurring lines, especially in videos. JLo posts a lot of videos using her beauty line, and people have noticed the very obvious blurring filters on them. Okay, I just took off the mask. Honestly, I cannot even see a line on my face. <laughs> It is glowy. All the comments are about the obvious filter, with people saying things like, girl, you have a fuzzy filter on. Ain't nobody taking skin advice from you. Jennifer, you have beautiful skin. Naturally, please remove the filters off your posts especially these, or people will be under the impression the products don't work, as I'm sure they do, someone added. While saying that, it's also important to recognize the social pressure on women, especially in Hollywood, to stay youthful. If she showed her real skin, there'd probably be articles criticizing how she's aged, which is a huge reason why people in the public eye use filters and facetune. There's a lot of pressure to look a certain way, but imagine how amazing it would be for someone like JLo to show her real skin. It would be so inspiring for women who look up to her to see her fine lines and so-called imperfections. The Marketing for this brand could have been so empowering, but instead, it comes across as deceptive, making people not want to support her brand. Only a few years after launching, JLo Beauty seems to be facing major issues. A few months ago, it was announced that JLo Beauty was leaving Sephora stores in America. We've talked about how tough it is to keep a spot on Sephora's shelves. If you're not meeting targets and making certain numbers, you'll be replaced by the next best thing. This has happened to countless brands and usually means things aren't looking good. You can still shop JLo Beauty on the Sephora website, in Sephora Canada and on jlawbeauty.com, but things aren't looking good. The website has had massive sales for months, which makes people think they're trying to clear out stock before shutting down for good. A lot of celebrity-owned brands are facing a similar fate as JLo Beauty. Jaclyn Cosmetics shut down last year, Addison Rae's Item Beauty, and Kylie Cosmetics have been on a downward trend for years. Consumers are just burnt out on these constant launches and feel like every celebrity is trying to cash in on the beauty industry 
without real passion for it. There's a reason why brands like Rare Beauty and Fenty Beauty are successful. Rihanna and Selena seem genuinely passionate about beauty and actually use their products. They've also made positive impacts on the industry, with Fenty setting the standard for shade ranges and Rare Beauty having a charity called the Rare Impact Fund. JLo Beauty just seems like a cash grab to many people. It would be different if the products were affordable, but the high prices have turned people off since launch. It's like her concert tickets. Rows of seats remained unsold for months because they were so overpriced. Her real fans couldn't afford 500 plus for a decent seat, and the tour was eventually canceled. Unfortunately, JLo Beauty might face the same fate. If JLo had launched this line back in 2004 to 2008, it would have been a hit when everyone wanted that JLo glow. Celebrity brands were still new, and people were buying them up. It would have done so much better 20 years ago. Even her makeup artist beat her to it. In 2012, Scott Barnes launched his own brand, Scott Barnes Body Bling, with products cashing in on the JLo glow, and people loved them. She did have a JLo glow line back then, including a perfume, body wash, and shower gel, so she knew the market was there. Unfortunately, this brand just missed its timing. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this. Have you ever used JLo Beauty? Did you like it? Is it overpriced? Let us know.